Who and what is the Messiah? Messiah is a Hebrew word, originally Mashiach, and in literal translation it means, the one who is anointed with oil. That is why the Messiah is called the Anointed One. The translation of the Hebrew word Mashiach into Greek is Christ. So the original word in translation is, Messiah, Anointed One, Christ. Therefore in the Tanakh there were several Messiahs or Christs. Anointed with holy oil were Saul, David, Solomon. This means that Saul is the Christ, David is the Christ, Solomon is the Christ. The Messiah in this sense was created only when the Jews wanted to have a human king, and not to live in a theocracy, where God himself is the king. Theocracy among Hebrews in Israel was from the time they got the commandments at Mount Sinai, to the time they got their first human king Saul. By that time there was no expectations of some Messiah that will help them or lead them, because God himself is the only leader, helper and savior, and that is what God wanted with Israel and the whole world, eventually, to last forever. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 11. I am the God, and beside me there is no Savior. Since the Jews wanted to have a human king, God gives them a king and commands that the king be anointed with holy oil, thus that king is the anointed Christ. The only king is God, but the first human king in Israel was Saul. Saul was anointed with holy oil and thus became the anointed one, the Messiah, the Christ. God told Samuel in the first book of Samuel that this meant that they had rejected God, the king of the whole universe, because they wanted to have a human king, Messiah. First book of Samuel chapter 8 verse 7. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people in all that they say to you, for they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me, that I should not be king over them. To see Christ as a king instead of the only God means to reject God. God's will is that he is the and only king forever, without a human king, Messiah. Isaiah chapter 48 verse 11. I will not give my glory to another. What is important to note is that God's will was for only God to be king forever, therefore the Messiah as such would not even exist. Therefore, the kingdom of God does not need a Messiah as a king at all. Please like share and subscribe.